Hey guys, X-Rays here, and I'm bringing you a team deathmatch gameplay on WMD. And I just like to say that I'm gonna try to make this a fairly active channel, so I'm gonna be uploading roughly once every two days, so about three times a week. And I'm not gonna take large breaks and not upload for weeks at a time or anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to upload as many videos as I can and I have lots of gameplay videos already stored on my computer of Call of Duty and I'm gonna be getting Team Fortress 2 gameplay quite soon. And I think of a few dual commentaries in the works. So don't expect a shortage of any of videos anytime soon. But anyways, I was using an AK seventy four U with this game, just rushing around with grip and rapid fire, I think. No, wait, no. Grip and sleight of hand, my bad. And I ended up getting quite a few kill streak rewards. I actually get dogs twice, two chopper gunners, and two blackbirds. But you'll have to wait to see the score at the end. And there was a lot of traffic in the middle, I noticed. And that that's one thing you want to watch out for when you're playing Team Deathmatch and mostly games that don't have specific objectives. You want to see where all the traffic's going, and this can really help you improve on how many kills you're getting, especially in wager matches. If you notice when you're playing games like Gun Game and stuff, it's really the first to 20 kills, so KD doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter if you're dying, so you always just want to see where everyone else is going, and try to get there and kill everyone else, not just try to stay alive as long as you can. You want to look for traffic. And this really helps in team deathmatch and free for alls too. You want to see where everyone else is going in the map. There's generally one spot where everyone hovers towards per games. Although in team deathmatch and free for all it can change easily. But generally, on specific maps too, there's places people always want to go. Like on WMD, people always want to go into the center building. So as you see, when I was about to get my dogs and chopper gunner, I stayed in here and just waited like for my last kill for dogs I just waited for someone to come by because I didn't want to risk not getting the dogs and I knew someone would come by soon and as you see there I, I skipped the chopper gunner footage because really it's kind of boring to watch so I, I didn't even bother fast forwarding it I just skipped it entirely so I don't know give me some feedback if you guys want to see it or not and I think that was my first death right there yeah, we had a blackbird in the air, and I guess I got a bit careless. Even if you do have a blackbird, you have to remember that the enemy is probably going to be cautious. Because you, you have a blackbird, so they know exactly where you are. So they're going to have their gun ready to shoot anyone trying to kill them. So it's not necessarily just going to be free kills with a blackbird. So you have to watch out for that. And So now, since the blackbird was in the air, I was just rushing around, getting as many kills as I could in my second life, trying to rack up another kill streak. And it worked quite well, because as you see a bit later, I'll get another kill streak. And now the blackbird ran off, so just running around, looking for them. And then we get another blackbird. So that was pretty nice. And these games are when I'm playing in parties too, for some of these gameplays, so... Oh, and here I get a blackbird, so another blackbird. Kind of wasted mine. But, uh, when I'm playing in parties, generally my friends are also pretty good, so... They'll also get chopper gunners and stuff, so sometimes I can't even call in my chopper gunners. So, I probably could have racked up a little higher score. But I mean, what are you gonna do? At least this game, no one else was hogging the airspace. That's kind of annoying. And as you see there, I call in my dogs and chopper gunner right as the game's ending, coming to a close. So, I mean, they don't really get me a lot of more kills, but, you know, it's nice to say you got two SR-71s, two chopper gunners, and two sets of dogs in one game of Team Deathmatch. I mean, you don't, you don't do that every day. So, it was quite a successful game. 44-2, and two, and we crushed the enemy team pretty badly. Oh, and don't forget to comment and rate the video if you can. That'd be great. And see you next time.